Hey y'all, it's your girl Queen and I am back with another video. So recently I've been getting a lot of um, questions about how to download CC under my old how to download CC video. That video is like quadrillion years old and it's like when I first started doing videos. So 9 out of 10 I was probably all over the place. So. I decided I'm going to um, make another one, an updated version. Um, I will say nothing has changed. I still kind of do all of the same thing, things, but this could be kind of like a refresher for me and, because it's kind of like muscle memory. I kind of just do it. So I hope I can like break it down, slow it down and try to zone in on like key things the best I can and also give like sorry <laughs> and also give like tips that I do as well so hopefully this video will help a few people but if you have any questions or need any help please leave a comment down below if you like this video and I did great and I explained it to where you could understand it please give this video a thumbs up as well um if you cannot get me to pay attention to my comments which I don't get notifications when I get comments for some reason. I have comments sitting there for like months and I never even knew. So if I don't respond in a timely manner, my social media is down below and Twitter goes off every five seconds for me. So go ahead and leave me a message on Twitter. My DMs in there on there are open, but let's get into this video. Okay, so for starters, let's download 7-Zip. Um, I will say I still use this. It's my holy grail ever since I got introduced to it. So it's very easy. It is safe. Um, I've been using it literally for years. I was using another program first. I don't even remember the program because all I remember is 7-Zip. Okay, so... You start with you'll get this page which I will link it down below so you, <clears throat> you will download this one right here the top one if you have a 64-bit um, computer or you would download this one if you have a 32-bit computer I um, think you find that, that out in settings I'm not too sure um, but I think when you purchase it you will know whether or not you have a 64-bit or 32-bit so I'm not gonna download it because I already have it, but um, close that out of the way. Um, once you download it, it'll be on your computer, and I feel like now because I have some doo -doo -doo, some zip files right here, and with Seven Zip, I know it has changed since the last time, oh, well, since I first downloaded it. But now I feel like all you have to do is click it and it will already unzip it instantly for you. Like that. Or, downloads. You can always right click, show more options, 7-zip, open archive, and you get the exact same thing. All of your package files. Okay? Um, but if it goes, go ahead and just double click and it unzips for you just make your life easier and unzip it that way okay so that is seven zip you will need these to extract files um unzip files and that nature so this is how you do that part okay now we're going to download some cc so you'll go to um, whatever website you use to find CC. I have a few actually. Um, oh, so many, so many. Um, hold on. But we're going to just use Sierra. So Sierra is one that's like, you know, very easy to read and, and download CC from. Um, the only thing is a lot of CC is on Patreon now and you have to buy it or you might get lucky and get some CC that, you know, 
it's free so it'll look like this if it's free and you can just download these packages or you'll have the creators where you have to buy their CC grant all these are unlocked for me because they're open but then you'll have some creators that for example her I think where it is oh wait no not her oh yeah yeah not her <laughs> sorry um we'll say MJ um where it's locked and you'll have to pay for it okay um so we don't want to do that I, I don't like to pay for CC I'm not gonna lie so most of the time I do not I'll just wait for the early access to be over and then I get it for free so um once you see some CC you like so say you want this nice underwear set by Busra I don't know how to say it who is very very great creator you'll just click click and save as or well, I hit save as and it should go to your downloads folder I already have a lot here already so we're just going to add these to our folder um and then so say you want more like I really love this mod this mod is amazing um I think let's see if it's early access is over it is so you'll be able to just download them oh wait Oh, it is now unlocked. So you'll be able to, I'm going to actually post this down below. You'll be able to get this mod free. Um, just always make sure when you get on Patreon or or any of these websites. So say you went on Sierra site, make sure, oh wait, make sure you read the description so you won't just be putting anything in your game. Mods and CC can be very tricky and it can literally break your game okay so just be mindful of what you put into your game but i will say that this mod is safe and it actually works beautifully okay um but you'll download it simple very easy it'll tell you how to download any creator will tell you how to download it but this mod you'll just click here and it'll take you to the sims file share you'll click the link it'll bring you here click download and just like before save as and save and now downloads that mod is right here in your downloads folder along with oh right here the two um the underwear set that you also just downloaded um i will put the cc that i'm advertising i guess the the underwear set i will post that down below as well so just your first pieces of cc now now that you've downloaded cc i'm going to show you how to put the cc in your game okay so i have my this pc file explorer open and then in another tab or window it says window is my downloads folder and this is where all of my cc goes once i download it from the websites um I want to take a moment to say that I also, me and a couple of friends of mine, have a Discord where we teach you everything that I'm teaching you right now. We teach you how to straighten up your folder, clean out your folder, how to download CC, how to make videos with editing, with content creating, how to live stream, how to set up your live streams, how to do anything that you may have a question doing. We even have a couple of ladies that can teach you how to use Blender, how to make poses, how to make CC. So I'm going to list the um, Discord down below. In the event that I can't figure out how to do that because I really don't know how to do it on youtube but you can always again like i said dm me on my social medias um comment on the in the comments and i will make sure that you get into our discord um we don't also just teach about sims we play the sims we have challenges and we also even play variety games so we're not just sims we play anything dead by daylight scary games um, I love personally Dreamlight Valley and Hogwarts and Animal Crossing. So we play a whole bunch of different games. So I just want to take the time to say that really quickly and let's get back to this. So here's all the CC that we just downloaded plus a few more. I'm going to delete this. Okay. Plus a few more that I've already have in, um, downloaded before I started recording. And my game is on my D drive. 
is not on my C drop where the game normally goes. So if you have your game on your C drive, you will click the C drive. My game is on my D drive, so I will be clicking the D drive. Now, I don't remember because I haven't had my game on my C drive for a while now, but I think it's the same process of getting to your mods folder. So again, you may have to click the C drive. I'm going to click the D drive, but the next steps after that are the same. Okay, so for me, I want to do D drive. If you have to go C drive, you click C drive. But, oh, and don't pay attention to these. These are my externals. I like they're not here. Now, in the event that you, I used to have my game on my external drive. In the event that you are a person that do have it on your external drive, click where your game is on the external drive. Click if you're on the C drive. Click if you're on your D drive. I'm going to click the D drive. I just wanted to stress that one more time. So I'm going to my D drive, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and we're going to pause right here. Now, anytime that you add or take away CC or mods, you'll go to this page right here under The Sims 4, find the local thumb cache, and delete it. Either like this or the button up here at the top. I am in game right now, so I cannot delete it, but your game should not be open right now, so you will be able to delete it. At this moment, your game should not be open, so you will be able to delete. This will not pop up for you, so you will be able to delete that file, okay? I am in game, as you can see down here, so I will not be deleting it because I've already done that for my mods, but you will have to delete it. Okay, well, not have to. It's not like a big important step, but it does help. Okay, once you get to this page and you delete that file, you come and you go to mods and double click. Okay, next step. And my first tip I don't know, this might not be my first tip if I've told you things you didn't know already, but my main tip is organization organization I put everything in a folder now if you don't want stuff in a subfolder then okay I'm gonna show you what your game supposed you your game might look I mean no, I'm sorry pause I'm gonna show you what your mods folder might look like if you do not add these folders so I'm going to use this okay so in the event that you don't have folders you will move your CC from your downloads straight to your mods folder and everything will look like this. Or if you have the view on this, it will look like this. If you are going to be like me and take my tips, then you will create subfolders. Not too many, because if you put stuff too deep into subfolders, it will not read in the game. Okay? So when I say by two deep in folders, that means you'll have this folder and then another folder and then another folder. Nope. One folder. So for, I'm going to use a deep indigo since she's right, or he, I really don't know, is right here at the top. So for a deep indigo, y'all know a deep indigo has a lot of mods, for those of you who do know, that enhance the gameplay. So I have the educational overhaul mod in its own folder all that is one mod i have the health redux mod in its own folder now this is okay because these still show up in my game now if i would have had another folder inside of it it would probably wouldn't work but with just this one folder it's fine okay but let's not get in the habit of putting folders inside of folders inside of folders so um all of my hair is in its own folder. All of these are hairs by different creators. Okay? Um, but in the event that you download the same hair, a lot of hair from one creator, like Danny, sorry, Ebonics or Ebonics, however you pronounce it, 
if I wanted her to have her own folder, I would take all of these hairs and place them in their own folder. Okay, to create a new folder, all you do is go to new folder. And so I'm gonna use her for an example. I would type her name and now I have a whole new folder just for her. So all of those hairs that was in here, I will put in her folder right here. But I, I'm okay with her being in the hair folder. Um, another thing is my infants. I have my infants broke down in so many ways because infants really broke her game. So it was hard to keep up with all the CC that came with infants. So all of my skin details, my mod overrides for the um, infants, my cast items for infants, and all my infant clothing, all of my build by folks stuff like furniture is for infants all inside of here now for hair if i have a lot of hair by one creator such as this person all of their hairs is in one folder so you can either create a folder for each content creator not content creator cc creator or you could place them all into one folder same for let's say kids I have all of my children clothing in one folder right here you can do that or you could put all your male children clothes in one folder all your female kid clothes in one folder if you would like to break it down that detailed you can or if you want to break it down by creator so Linux if I want to put all my boy Linux clothes in the folder I can do that. You can do that. I just feel like I'm I'm lazy and it's just easier to put all my kids' clothes in one folder, all my infants' clothes in one folder, no matter the gender. Okay? As far as my furniture, I don't know what it is about furniture, but it's the main thing that breaks my game every time. So all of my folder furniture is in its own two folders. This one is broke down by creators. This one is just all of my all my other furniture in one folder. Until I get less lazy and put them in these folders over here by the actual creators. Okay? If none of that made sense, make sure you comment down below so that I can help you again. Make sure you pause and rewind this video as much as you need to, to make sure you understand what I'm saying. Now that's my main tip for this part of organization. I just feel like it's easier for me, especially when we have updates and all that good stuff. I can know exactly which folders to go into. Now I know for a fact my mods folder and my furniture folder likes to break the game but i like to break things down so all of my Sever severnik and i say it is broken down and q and bb is also broken down just like so make sure you pause if you like to see how i have mine organized um, as far as mods this is important i have different mods mixed up in here but then i also will have mods by the creators as well so right here mid 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 midnight heart all of her overrides is in one folder instead of me putting it inside of my mods folder and if you do create a folder for just your mods make sure you do not just name it mods so that the fold the system won't mix it up for this folder make it named something else my mods or mods with two d's or mods with two s's or just make sure it's just not regular mods okay just to be safe now back to the actual putting the cc in your game okay so we know that we downloaded female cc so for me i'm going to go to female clothing folder double click and open it now if you do not want to do subfolders then you can just have it a straight mods folder and just simply copy these two items and slide them over 
Now, I already have these in my game because I've already recorded this video once. And yeah, I deleted it. So, I'm redoing it. But I already have these pieces of CCN. But in the event that I did not, this box wouldn't have popped up. But since I already have these in, I'm just going to skip these two files so that it won't duplicate in my folder. Um, and that's all you do. Copy. Not copy. But highlight and slide over. Now we know, I, oh I have this mod too, I ain't gonna lie, but I will go to my mod, since it's just this one mod, and I'll just put it in, ooh, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, right here. I'll just, I'll just click and slide it over, but again, I already have this mod, so we're just gonna skip that. But that's all you do, you highlight, drag it over, highlight, drag it over simple as that that's all you do and make sure you have nothing but package files in your mods folder so in all of these folders i have nothing but package files and you can see it by right at the end package files or type package files package files I am going to make sure, because some folders, I do have some that are not extracted. Let me see if I can find one so I can show you how to unzip it with 7up. Okay, now, <clears throat> sometimes you will get these RAR files, and it's just a package file that is merged together, and it needs to be extracted. Um, as you can see, this is already in my game and it's been here for a while and I didn't know it. It does not break your game. It does not mess up your game. You just cannot access that CC until you extract it. It does not break your game. You just won't have this. So you'll be like, dang, I know I downloaded this. Where is it? Well, you didn't extract it. You just moved it over. Um, highlight moved over without extracting it okay so you left left or right right click it sorry right click it show more options seven zip open archive now it is extracted now you click and here is your package file now when you open your game you'll be able to find this cc that you didn't extract so this is what I, I didn't have in my game so i knew i downloaded this skin forgot to extract it and then it's been sitting here so long i forgot i even downloaded it so yeah so now we will not take over the png yes i have png files sitting here i need to delete them <laughs> but again it doesn't break your game it's just in there so all you do is let me do it again highlight it right click show more options do not go to open with 7-zip console and i'm thinking that's where most people are why people are commenting that they have not it's not working because that does not work and that's why i say with well, windows 11 is different now than what it used to be because that used to work but it doesn't work anymore so i don't use this I just go to show more options. It'll take you to that normal menu that Windows 10 had. And you go to 7-Zip, open archive, and get your CC this way. Okay? So now we're just going to drag it over. And now it's in my game. Package file. And then I'm just going to scroll back down to where it is not my package file. I'm going to close this highlight this and I'm going to delete it there's no need for it anymore we already have the file in our game from where we extracted it as far as these these are just pictures I can delete these so if you have PNG files in your game delete them you don't need them the easiest way to find if you have PNG files or RAR files is click type click it and it'll automatically just um, set itself for you these right here 
I'm not even gonna lie, I have no idea. But they're not breaking my game. They're not bothering anything. I'm gonna leave them alone. Here is another compressed file inside of my game. How I did that, I don't know. But sometimes you mess up and you do that. So just click it. Here are my package files. So I'm going to right click, open a new window. It'll pop up. I'm going to delete this. I probably shouldn't have deleted that. Pause. Okay, so any event that you do what I just did, don't do that. What I just deleted is right here. So I'm just going to restore that. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so what I just used, this can delete. Ignore that. Here's the, here it is right here. Right click. Show more options. Nope. Mm -mm. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Now, I'm open the window. I'm going to highlight, drag it over, and now it's in my game. So I'm going to scroll back down here, and I'm going now. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so now it's deleted. That's just an extra. We don't need that. Okay, so now that we just made sure that everything. Everything is now a package file. As far as these files, these are mine. Yours is not gonna look like that in your game. Just ignore it. But everything should say package file now, okay? Now I'm just gonna check another folder because I know me, I know me. I'm going to click type, okay? There's a blend file, I'm gonna delete that. But everything, except for those, ignore those. Everything else is going to say package. I'm going to scroll down. I have some unopened RAR files. So I have CC that I had no access to. Open, seven zip, not open, sorry. Right click, show more options, seven zip, open archive. Highlight, drag over. Okay, now it's in my game. We're gonna close that. We're gonna scroll back down, go to the next one. Left, right click, show more options, 7-zip, open archive. How, oh, now we have female, male, and child. Female, male, and child. I'm going to take the female one, slide it over. Okay? And then I'm going to go to my kid folder clothing open it take the child move it over mods folder I'm going to scroll down till I get to male clothing the male option slide it over okay and then I'm going to close this now we're going to go back to my female folder and I'm going back to those RAR files that I was un extracting. Now I've already did these two, so we're just gonna go ahead and delete them. And we're gonna go back to this very last one, right click, show more options, seven zip, open archive, and then I have a lot of um, package files in here. All right here, I'm gonna highlight, drag them right over. And now they're in my game. Okay, if I really wanted to, I could highlight all of these Savage Sims and put them in her own folder. But as far as right now, I'm just going to leave her in female clothing. But in the event that I have a lot like this and I know it's kind of, you know, a lot, I'll move her into her own folder. But I'm going to leave her there for now. So now we're going to go back down here to this RAR. Since we have already extracted it, we're going to delete that. Okay, so now all of these is in its is part package files. If you see something that's not packaged, ignore it. That's just my mess up. I'll fix it later. But yeah, for you, everything should be packaged. So now that we have, we know that we successfully moved these to our mods folder. We can go to download, highlight, and delete them because we already got them in our folders. Um, I'm going to put these in my game these are lashes 
move them over. I've already done that, so I can hit skip. I couldn't remember if I put them in or not, and then delete. I know these are hair, so I'm gonna go to my hair folder, slide them over. I already did it, so I'm gonna skip, and then I'm going to delete, okay? Easy enough. That's it, okay? That's all you do. Again, I recommend just checking to see if you have some RAR files in your game. If you do, now you know how to ex extract them correctly, okay? So now that you have everything that you've downloaded into your game, hopefully in its own folders, I'm a big advocate for that, I'm just saying, then now you know that you have successfully added CC to your game. Okay, so the next step is me showing you how to activate the CC once your game is loaded. All right, so now we have your game up. It's up on the home screen. We're gonna go to options. We're gonna go to game options. We're gonna go to other. And we're going to make sure that enable con custom content and mods is checked. We're going to make sure that script mods allowed is checked. Okay. Now, if this is your first time downloading CC, there will be a box that pop. Oh, Lord. Mine might take a minute. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah, the more CC you have, that box is going to be full. But if you are just starting to put CC in, so let's say you only had those three pieces that we downloaded today, there will be a box that pops up on startup and it'll just have those three pieces of CC in your game. Since I have way more CC, yeah, it's taking a while for that box to pop up. But once you have these two checked, hit apply changes and you're done. But you will have to restart your game. I say that so sad because it takes forever for my game to load. So yeah, but for you, if this is your first time at a CC, you won't have that problem. But I will tell you the more CC and the more mods you add, the slower your game loads up for you. Okay, the, the, the slower sometimes build by mode will move because it has to generate all that CC that you're downloading. Be mindful if you want to have a, be a CC simmer. That is the flaw is to be in a CC simmer. Sometimes things don't move as fast as if you are just base game, okay? Or maxes, I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, so after you hit the pie changes, just restart your game. Once your game loads back up, your CC should be available to you, whether it's furniture or creative sim items, okay? Um, again... Um, if you are interested in the Discord, contact me and let me know just in case I can't figure out how to link it in my description down below. I will make sure that you get into our Discord to take some of our classes and to chill and play games with us. Uh, make sure you follow all the social media down below. Please like this button. Please hit the like button so other people can see this video who may need help. Um, or if you just really like my video, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.